Boy, everybody seems to be in a very happy and dapper mood tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of getting ready to go uh, go to sleep. I I've just been tired all day. Ooh. Do you guys need to call it tonight? Nah. I'm definitely up for the game, though. All right, I guess we're live. Howdy, Steve. Steve. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hi. All right, we're at these guys last left off. Venturing further into the third level, they came across what appears to be a friendly drow, or two, who struck up a deal with them <sighs> to go take out the other Xanathar outposts and in return, he will give them something that makes this makes the dungeon easier to navigate. Upon going down south, they ran into an undead beholder, which they then took out, finding a room barricaded. They assumed to keep the beholder out, and that's where we catch up. Yeah, so before you, Baragon, is a stack of tables, chairs, doors, anything to block this little hallway. Uh, Something like that. Right right, so what do you guys do? Move this stuff out the way so we can open the door. What he said. All right, after some time, you manage to clear the a passageway through the barricade. Oops. Yes, I see something in there. Upon breaking through the barricade, you see several uh, what appears to be bugbears human thugs and one person standing in the center of the room carrying a gigantic battle axe. Here we go! You see the one, the one in the middle like jump back when the barricade is broken through but upon not seeing the beholder zombie like lowers its guard for a second. <sighs> Assuming you killed the thing. Yeah, you. we did. Now we kill you. Us? Yeah. Uh, they must have been sent down here to get us. You. Wait, who are you? Hey, son of a bitch. Murder hobos. Oh no. <laughs> we just need shotguns now. Uh, a bear gun takes a level of uh, gunslinger. He can craft a shotgun. Hey. Oh, I guess, uh... <laughs> Let me get, get my uh, character sheet out. Just, uh, get out your character sheet. Oh, no, that will be helpful. If you could just, uh, stop half-stepping. Your steps need to be not halved. Oh, it didn't re Oh, for crying out loud. Cry out loud after you're dead. I hit the initiative, but because I wasn't clicking on my token, it didn't send it. Age-old roll twenty problem. Yeah, there we go. Down, down to last. 
As usual, low and low is completely every shot in the beginning. Yep, get them ones out of the way. All right, fix. Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Just in their general direction? Stab that Oh! <laughs> the inaugural what? roll. You definitely did the general direction in the wall. It's not one of our knees. Okay. It's all right. Tex is uh, <laughs> it's acting like a Monty Python twit, just poking his knife in every direction. <laughs> all right, here come the bugbears. Uh, at least only two from each. That's a lot of bugbears. Sure it is. Morning star, morning star. See, Baragon, you only take one of them, so take ten damage. And here's oh, the javelins. We are, we are, we are. Shoo, shoo. All right, Marster takes three, and Vex takes three. Oop, I got one more javelin. And missed. The the uh, human figure in the middle just barrels right through everyone straight to fix. So Baragon, you can hit him. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna hit him. And you miss. Hooray. He just whizzes by, and I. Ah. So the humanoid swings at with reckless abandon, and Vex will take twelve. And you see that. The uh, berserker swinging with reckless abandon had left itself open after that attack. Hey, Baragon, you're you're up. Okay, I'm going to begin by hitting him with an axe. Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to cast the uh, electric uh, uh, thingy. The thing. Okay, roll your hemocraft. Pikachu, go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. There you go. <laughs> Do six damage to yourself. <laughs> and now your weapon uh, does 1d4 lightning damage. Pika, pika. And if you are attacking the Berserker, you have advantage. That's a uh, side effect of its reckless attack. Oh, well, heck, I'll go for the Berserker first. Okay. And that will do it. Actually, roll again. We'll see if you get a crit. Remember, you got advantage. You got to roll that twice. Yeah, either works. All right, there's nine damage and then 1d4 electricity. Already. Okay, and hit him again. Uh, you cannot. You use you your, your electricity as a bonus. Okay, then. And here comes everyone else. Ah. 
All right, so, uh, Baragon, from your position, you have noticed they are setting up a firing line, all pulling out crossbows. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're all pulling out crossbows. Five <laughs> different crossbow shots. Ooh. And all of them miss. <laughs> 12, 4, 14, 6, 5. Yay! Glasses! Glasses! I'm selling glasses! Does any monster <laughs> see glasses? So, monster, you just see a whole bunch of crossbow boats like fly past you, like badly missing. I will take a step back and then cast Spirit Guardian. Step back in. Hold on, I'll drop the verbiage. I'm dropping the verb. Anybody within 15 feet be taking a bunch of damage. 3d8, holy or whatever. That's going to be five different people. Let's see, there is a wisdom save. All right, that one's good. Bugbears. Four different wisdom saves. They One of them passes, the other three don't. Yeah, how about if I move that? Nope, you'll catch one more. I need one more wisdom save. And saved. All right, so you hit uh, four targets out of the five. All right, Barcy, you're up. Oops, I forgot my revenant. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for coming out to come out and play because it makes this just so much easier. Guess what it's time for? Is it fireball time? Oh, you know it! Yay, fireball! Uh, so Ooh. where are you putting it to hit everyone? Okay. Let's see. I know it's... It's large. Yep, it's, like it's 20 foot. I don't know what that symbol is. It's 20 feet. So we can't put it there. If you put it there, you'll hit everyone but yeah, the Zerker. That's fine. That's that's exactly what I want. Let's just kill the bugbears. Alright, so bugbears are going to try to dex for half. Five saves. Uh, two of them save. The rest of them do not. Me. Oh, what a treat we are. Hey, look, your hair's on fire. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, now the thugs in the back. Five different saves. Uh, one of them saves. One of them critically fails. That does not smell appetizing at all. Ah! Uh. Fire! Fire! <laughs> All right, so you've taken out four bugbears and one thug. Yay! And seriously damaged everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will need to move you right there so you can aim it. That's fine. All right, anything else you want to do? Uh. Uh, uh, I will, just in case, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Round two. All right, Fix. You will do minimum damage on this turn. Do minimum damage on one of those bugbears to kill it.
Well. Oh, bad. Okay, I was wondering why you just ran right through all of them. <laughs> Alright, so everyone give yourselves temp five uh, temporary hit points. Eight, oh, sorry. Forgot this explosion. There's the fireball. Oh my! Delayed blast fireball! Oh, thank you! All right, so every thug is going to need to roll a wisdom save, DC 15. And two of them didn't save. Would be this one and this one. Okay. I'm ready, bugbear time. Morning star. Miss. Take a step over here. Morning star. Uh, Marster, not Marster. Baragon, take uh, 12. Subtract, Subtract your hit, uh, temporary first. Alright, see you in the fireball. Actually, uh, let's see. Both bugbears need to make a wisdom save. I forgot they need to do that before the start of their turn. Alright. Uh, I need a 3d8 on one, on, and we will hit one of them. Oh! Alright, so... The Berserker is now going to recklessly run over to Varsi. Baragon, you get a free hit. Steve. Sorry. Um, get a reaction because it moves out of your threatened area. That will hit. Yay. <laughs> Bam. And then add your electricity. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that thing. Pikachu! Pikachu! Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, up. I called it Pikachu and it shrank down. down. Just, great great X, just, just P. Great X to Varsi's face. Varsi, take eight. Ow. There goes, goes your temper. There goes my temporary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Revit, it's going to help you out here. Punch, punch. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, we'll miss on the second one. Oh, there we go. Alright, Baragon, you're up. Alright. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm using a new browser, and every time I press F2, it brings up... Uh, a menu. Okay, I'm gonna hit this guy. All right. If you hit him, I'm just gonna get rid of him because he's got one HP left. So it doesn't matter if. Nope, you didn't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> there goes your whole turn, basically, because you're gonna bonus to try to hit him. <laughs> All right, he's dead. I guess that's it for me. You can still move. Um, okay, I guess I'll just move here to the corner. Alright. These two run away from Fix. So we're gonna move back here. And Fix is the only target to shoot, so they both shoot him. Pew pew! Uh, one misses badly, the other one will do all your temporary hit points. All right, Marster, you're up. I'm trying to find where I can get them all in there, but I can get three in there right there. Yep. So I run to right here. Mm -hmm. Then I can, well, 
Is anybody really hurt? Yep. Fix. No, not really. Huh? So I will then cast Sacred Flame on the guy fighting Fix. Okay. So these guys take 3d8. On their turn, they, uh, they will. Alright, try to dodge. Uh, does not dodge, is gone. Alright, Varsity, you're up. Alright, how does this guy look in front of me? Uh, roll medicine. No, the, uh, the, uh, crazy... Yes. He's hurt? Uh, if you roll medicine, I can give you, uh, pretty much exactly how hurt he is. You've hit him a couple times. I actually haven't laid a hand on him yet. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, he's uh, he's been hit about three different times. Yeah, I know. All right. You know what? I was saving this. But let's do it. Ooh, ooh, that's a big ol' miss. Oh, God damn it. The roll the three. <laughs> so the ray yeah. just goes somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, fine. That Be doesn't work. Fine. Uh, At least you didn't roll a one. Yeah, I know, right? We've only got one one so far. Yeah. All right, let's do this for a little. Take that. <laughs> Probably make it. But... Woo! You're too close. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> oh my! It's a berserker. I think strength is their main stat. Yeah, I know. I was like, eh! well, it doesn't cost me anything. Thanks. Swoosh. He's, he's, he's pulling out the rape. Ah! <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no this more melee attacks. not helping me. No more melee attacks for Felix. Yes. And the, the enemy may make attack for opportunity against you with advantage. Luckily, they have ranged weapons up. All right. It says DC 16 strength or dex. And your weapon, take, you take damage. So take, take, give yourself Ow. nine. Sure do like to hit yourself. <laughs> the doctor said stop doing that. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? <laughs> All right. Take a step over here. Uh -huh. No, let's go this way. That way can't be flanked. Here, Vars, you have another great axe. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, let's see if this works this time. I missed. Okay, good. I was about to do something else, but fine. I'll take that. It is. Actually, uh -oh. that helps. Hit once. Thank you. You actually helped me for a second. I right, thank you. All right, Barakon. All right, I am going to run over here. Gosh darn it. Uh, I'm going to hit him. Are you going to hit your, uh, the Revenant? Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who's this person? The Berserker. The corner! Hit the corner! <laughs> Here, Varsi, Varsi looks like an enemy. Hit him. That's gonna hit. There's some damage. Add a 1d4. Yeah, yeah, you're more like a bumblebee. God damn it, with you. Alright, one more. One more. Does that hit? Yes, yes. it does hit. And there goes the berserker. Woo! Okay. Alright, orange and green. Let's see. Do any of them escape? One takes no damage. The other one di uh, takes half damage. Still dies. Meh. Dead, dead. Let's see. How long does that fear last? Do 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 do. do. Uh, concentrated. Uh, the creature. Nope, it still has line of sight effects. They can't go anywhere. Uh, they're pretty much stuck there. Cowering in fear. Alright, Marster, you're up. Don't move right there. And then cast heal on Fexo. Alright. Well, I'll walk over to Fex, touch him, heal him, and then walk over here. Okay. Hi. I'm giving him some sexual healing. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I swear. I swear you can't roll above a one on that. <laughs> oh, what a <laughs> night! <laughs> All right, Marcy. Okay. Uh, you guys, I have a over there. Okay, I'm gonna move. There. Ah, I can see something. All right. Yeah, not even worth it. Got a little Stop. bit of corner cover there. That's fine. Like that. I mean that it breaks your line of sight. You need to take one more step. Okay, one more step is fine. Boop. There we go. That's some 12 fire damage. Yep. Blit. Cower. Cower. <laughs> hey, Fix. They're still scared of you. Fear the fire. Are you brave enough to try another melee attack? <laughs> <laughs> or are they moving too much for you to hit them? All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> nice. You still hit him. Oh my god. That's another one gone. Alright, Barry, on your turn. Alright. I'm gonna move. Oh shoot, hold on. <laughs> I guess I can only move there. All right. Okay. Uh, I see my name on top of this. This is the uh, revenant here. Yes. And uh, who's this? Your Captain. ally. My ally. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Attack him anyway. All right. Uh, you know, uh, the one that can, fire, that can do fireball is the one you don't want to piss off right now. You got you a gunshot gun gun. right there. All right, I'm gonna pull out my gun and uh, shoot this guy. Pull out your gun. Here comes that one. Ah, uh, that's still it. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Ah, oh, not enough to murder. Oh. 
might hit me with a one. All right, it does not matter what it rolls to save against the guardian because it had one HP left. Uh, Good job, everyone. Uh, we did not. Hmm. I was like, "Oh, look! They're all piling up in one little corner." Oh, look! Boof! Fireball! <laughs> Everyone in the party, a uh, healing potion to drink. Thanks to uh, Tolbar for softening them up. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Well, you know. Drink they were just... Potion. Just perfectly there. I couldn't resist. They all came out to play. I was like, okay. So, anything good on them? <laughs> this is back here, back here. You definitely have a great axe. Maybe Baragon could use it. Potion of healing is 2d4 plus 2. Alright, everybody roll 2d4 plus 2. I didn't get hurt. Alright, well, you can just hold on to that healing potion then. Okay, I can do it. I got things in my Because you were all the way across the room. I didn't know if you were getting jacked up by that fucking berserker or not. Ah, I would have took care of him eventually. So with its reckless uh, attack, it gets automatic advantage on its attack rolls. Even with that, I couldn't hit him. Of course, every time he uses that attack, it also gives advantage on someone who attacks him. Yeah. All right, so in this room, uh, you see... Uh, several bunks where these guys were hanging out as well as what appears to be uh, a circle in the center of the floor where uh, the human was standing. Apparently this was like a little battleground they made to, to test uh, the other people of this outpost against against his combat abilities. You see that the circle is actually a large Xanathar symbol in the center of the floor. And as part of the agreement, you take, you go over to the Berserker, cut his head off, and take it with you. Ah, oh, how nice. How quaint. How crude. Sniff at this door. So we just leave the body there? All we need is oh. the noggin. I don't know, can we prop him up on his axes or something? Just make him look like a bad scarecrow? Sure, if you want to be cruel about it. <laughs> so you can yell at the body, Hey, get off your axe! Oh! That's it, you're done. Get out of the group. <laughs> so, uh, the... There isn't a... Smell on the other side of this door that's any different than anywhere else. So nothing in particular stands out. Well, then I open the door confidently. That's me. Okay. Ah, another long hallway. Oh my. No, you... So... The hallway is lit up by torches lining both sides of the wall. I see some sort of weird... <laughs> Monster. Yeah. So at the end of the hallway, you see two large ballista. Oh. How do we do? No. Ooh. Wait a minute. Why am I in front then? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I'm a giant target. It would probably be dangerous for me to run down that hallway. They're probably big and powerful, aren't they? Are you talking about my guns or those things down the hallway? <laughs> well, I was talking about the things, but... Why not both? But those are some mighty 
find guns. Uh huh. Master flexing in the corner. <laughs> Elephant flex. <laughs> Streaky dick. <laughs> no. My my muscles. Everybody knows clerics are known for their muscles. Yes. The most masculine part of the most masculine party member, the cleric. <laughs> oh, he's got the longest trunk. Ooh. That's right. Maybe I can really pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because you're such a packet arm. Yeah, he got the joke. <laughs> So what do you do? Well, I'm not sure what we can do. I can, can cast bless on one of you and you can run down there and... Do it! <sighs> Everyone but me has bless. <sighs> Aren't we special? Alright, Bear Gun. I'm gonna need you to go right here. <laughs> that is the sound of those ballistas suddenly growing feet, turning around to face you, and they both fire. Steve, see that? Shoot! <laughs> Wait a minute, fire! <laughs> Ooh, two giant ballista come flying your way. Careful, that's what took out Smaug. Uh, so this is... So, <laughs> instead of firing, like, the normal ballista shot, instead they're firing magical bolts of fire. So they're like a video game monster. And there is no saving throw as they have to hit your AC. I hope you like taking lots of damage. Oh my. Unless it only helps against a saving throw or attack roll. Sounds like that was an attack roll if I got hit his AC. His, him attacking somebody. Bless doesn't give you AC. Nope. That would be Shield of attack. Faith, or you could have gave him Sanctuary. Attack or Saber Yep, yeah, good luck, friend. Whatever god I worship, be with you. Alright, Baragon, you're going to take 37 damage. Ow! What are you to me? All right, all right, we're going to of your life choices right now. All right, uh, I, I think in uh, cases like these, it's a, it's a good it's a good idea to um, look at all your options and run. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baragon, as soon as you take like a step back, the uh, ballista like uh, tuck their legs into their structure. And then return to a dormant state. Yeah, I'm not going that way anymore. Hold on one second. I return you to half of your hit points. Thank you. Yeah, you're at 30 HP now. 30 and a half. Mm. Alright, so the direct approach won't work. Well, there's a door to myself. Maybe there's a way to do it. Yes, the door. Let's let's open it. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me try something first. Just curious. Go right here. Let's see how they work. I want to try something. I'm going to do a little... Might never lose it. Let's just cast it. A little person. Oh, beha. Alright, as soon as you put the person down, both Ballista then come to life and shoot it. Hmm. Do they have to reload? You do. They're not shooting actual ammunition, so it does not appear so. Oh, okay. So what... They're shooting magical bolts of fire. 
Okay. Hmm. So it appears that the firing point is about right here. Okay. Hmm. Now, if I do it again, let's see, do, can I do it every round? All right. So you do it again, bolt to them, enemy, and shoot the target. Oh, every round they're going to shoot up to there. That's good to know. Hmm. Hmm. That. Swimming, would that help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just. You know what? If you would have given me my water that I asked for. Maybe it would have helped. Your water? <laughs> was it this game or was it another game? I asked for a <laughs> I think it was your other game. Because <laughs> we know I have no idea what you're talking about. Water. Okay, I must have been the game. Here, have some water. Uh, okay. Uh... That. Oops, oh. I have misjudged how far they can shoot. Hold on. Let me move it there. There we go. Uh, it does not appear that they are making any noise. They just, their legs sprout out, they turn and fire. Hmm. So that X is... Uh, that X is the range, 120 feet. I was trying to eye how 120 feet, and I miscalculated by a couple squares. So, uh, Varsi, roll uh, investigation when you put another minor illusion down. Yes. Ooh, I got plus two. Steps. It seems to to you when you put the illusion down and they turn to shoot that uh, it looks as if they are looking at the target before they fire. So it comes to you is that they need to perceive the target. Mm -hmm. It's not a magical sense that they have or an automatic sense. They have to actually see it. Well, you know what? There is a way of getting there. I tell them. Hey, look over there. No, I, I can get you down there. Well, I'm not certain we need to go that way quite yet. We do have a door to ourselves. Yes, but I know, but I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. You are bolty, after all. I can't do it alone. I need one of you people. You people, is that an elephant racism? <laughs> <laughs> is that an animal? Is that specious? Uh, call it like it is. <laughs> There's a wheelchair when you need one. <laughs> There's no wrap. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, this guy didn't look right. You do have the highest. You and Varsity both have the highest AC. It's up to us, the jabronis. Yep. I can get you down there, safety. Probably. Oh, I totally forgot about that he was here. Oops. All right, well, what's the plan? Basically, I cast darkness on you and keep casting the illusions so they fire at the illusions. And you just just walk straight in a, in a line until you hit something, which is going to be them. Works for me. <laughs> okay, maybe we should get someone who could do some damage. <laughs> <laughs> I said someone. <laughs> All right, do your thing. Be, be, uh, healed up. 
Why not uh, use your revenant, buddy? He's got actually a lot of health. He just has no AC. Well, in this case, we might not need the AC. Alright, well, I'm down with using the extra guy. He's got... He actually, he's got 136 HP. You can actually hide behind him. He regenerates 10 HP per round. Oh! You, you, you know what? Why don't you go behind him? And I can just put the darkness on the Revenant itself. That sounds like a plan. Except and then I'll walk... Yeah, but the loser's going to take the hit. Alright, so let's see this work out. So does darkness move or does it stay in one place? If I cast it on the object that he's carrying, he can actually walk with it. Okay. Could, hold, couldn't we cast it on an arrow and shoot it at the floor in front of him? That would we, work, wouldn't it? It would, but then we'd be taking a chance that it can detect us. Well, wouldn't they see the dark spot walking down the hallway? What you could do is fire an arrow of darkness in front of it, then put an illusion down and see if they fire. That's true. Okay. All right, who's got the best shot? Definitely not fixed. Well, yeah, I'm about to say, after tonight, I, I don't think Fex is good tonight. Gotta, gotta find something that can shoot 120 feet. Alright. And you only need to hit an AC5 uh, to, hit a sp to hit a square. You can still roll a 1. I'm <laughs> just saying! You need to shoot Farsi with it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't heal him because I can't see where he's hit. <laughs> you good, because you won't be able to see my face when I go, fuck you, fireball! <laughs> so if darkness is on his bolt, he's in darkness, which there's a 50-50 chance that he'll miss the, the spot he's shooting. <laughs> Cast the spell while the arrow's in flight. I think that's a reaction, so not quite. Alright, this is, that seems a little far-fetched, anyway. All right, so catch an arrow in the air. So we're gonna have to risk it. Vex, how confident are you? <laughs> wait, I got all of these ones rolled out of me. Oh, wait, so you still have bless on us or something? Yes, you still have bless. Act uh, bless is still active. So you at least that gives him the yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, too bad you don't have a hero point. Anyway, all right, Fex, it's all up to you. If it could, I roll. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> see what happens? Jesus Christ! <laughs> you are just bad form. Roll d10. On 1 and 9, the damage is reduced by 1d4. On 10, the string snaps, making it useless. Yay, d10 time. Now I heard you. Come on, not a 10. Oh, God. Alright, so... Your roll a d4. Like, can't you just get it in the area? <laughs> so the damage of your crossbow has been <laughs> your damage of your crossbow has been reduced by one. Is wrong with your roll twenty tonight? But you, uh, you didn't fire, so you still have the darkness bolt on your crossbow. Just kind of misfired. He's going to try again. All right. I do slow clap, but you won't be able to see it. So how far does... <laughs> <laughs> so how far does darkness reach, by the way? Okay. What's, its, uh, what's its radius? 
Yeah, look, we get it. Fifteen foot sphere. Okay. All right. So that area is covered in darkness. Yep. All right. So now, what do you do? Uh, well, did they fire at it? No. Oh, so you put another minor illusion down. After a couple seconds, nothing shoots it. So, hide behind this, the darkness. <laughs> I keep hide doing this with a stone. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep on going. You guys just bolt down the hallway. Ah! I'm shy of the darkness. There you go. Another one. It's specs with different faces going, I rolled ones again. <laughs> I rolled ones again. <laughs> right, so you guys stand right outside the darkness, and so far nothing has shot you while you guys are ran down the hallway. Can we sneak between them and go through the door? Darkness will only last up to ten minutes. So if anything, on the other side of that doorway takes longer than ten minutes, you'll be in the problem again. Darkness is a level two spell, so he can't just do this for free. Nope. <laughs> and I have to concentrate on it. <laughs> the Revenant says, I say we destroy him. Yes! <laughs> Charge! If we have the advantage, let's get him! <laughs> that was the point! <laughs> that was the plan! If, give me a few minutes, I can make up a plan! <laughs> nope, you're not allowed. Yeah, I know, every time, someone shoots me in the ass! <laughs> God, you think your you will never get it laid down. The problem is that your ass might be a huge target. <laughs> this is why I wear heavy armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta cover up his ass. That's not good music. I'll just use the same one I always use. Alright, I need initiatives from... Uh, oh. Baragon and Farsi. Oh, it happened again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... That looks like everybody, except for... Farsi forgot to click himself. Oh, god damn it. Go go on an 18. Uh you go first. Okay. Uh, There's somewhere in there. Yeah, I know, but I'm still concentrating. So I can't do anything major. So. Let's do this. A 17 will hit it. Now for a 1d100. Okay. Yep, you hit it for two damage. <laughs> and then spins his bonus to concentrate. Fix. Mr. One. Alright, this one will matter. Because you have allies in there too. I roll one and I splash my Make sure you don't roll a one. <laughs> all you gotta do is roll a five. <laughs> all, right, all, right, just, all I have to do is not there roll we go. one. one. <laughs> Alright, so you put you splash oil down <clears throat> in the general direction of one of the ballista. Maybe the one that I already put two points of fire damage on. Yes, it is. It's okay, we're just laughing at you. <laughs> Alright, one missed. Because of darkness. 
All right. From within the darkness, Baragon, Marster, and the Revenant hear the ballista, like, stepping back and forth. Like, you could hear the mechanics of their body swiveling, trying to find something to shoot. Because they're being hit, but they don't know by what. All right, Baragon, you're up. All right. I'm going to hit the one right in front of me with my axe. Okay. Oh, that will hit, maybe. I need to roll a d100 every time you attack. Because they have concealment. Uh, that will miss. Dang it. Alright, one more. Alright, that, that might hit. Ah! <laughs> Well, there goes Baragon's turn. Alright, Marster. You hear Baragon scream in frustration as he can't hit anything. Uh. Alright. So, we'll do the 1d100. Throw the flame. And that will hit one of them. Anything else you want to do? Um, I will move down. Okay. Alright, Varsi, you are up. Yep, yep. Based yeah. on the direction that fects through the oil, you guessing that the one on the north side of the wall is the one covered? Alright. Well, then, you know what? Let me help it out. All right, let's see if it hits. Yes, it barely yeah, does. Just make it. Tick, 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 tick. And the ballista <laughs> is now on fire. Look, it's a torch. Although you cannot see the flame. You can hear. Yes, because I'm still concentrating. Yes, because I'm still concentrating on, on dark. <laughs> you hear what sounds like small animals that have been operating the ballista go. Ah! <laughs> Alright, Fex. You can feel the heat coming from just in front of you. Why does it remind me of men in it reminds me of men in black with that stupid little aliens in them. <laughs> I was thinking labyrinth with the siege equipment and little tiny dudes in it. <laughs> Yep, you could. Yep, you feel the intense heat, and you stop before you walk right into it. <laughs> I stabbed at the. Wait, did this cause the problem the last time? Come on, not a one. No, the opposite of a one. <laughs> Here you go. No. Oh. All right, well, he does. Hold on, what? All right, triple damage. So we're going to roll an extra 1d8. Hmm. All right, 13 damage. And now for the blind. For four rounds! Well, if darkness is ever interrupted, at least one of them can't shoot you. Uh, he will try to hit both. That's one. And missed on the second. All right, chipping away. The north animated ballista <laughs> will take some fire damage. It's usually just a 1d6. There we go, five fire damage. 
they continue to not be able to find a target. They're gone. Okay. Uh, which one's on? Okay, this one's on fire. But I'll just hit that one. Hop it on its way. Alright, that might hit. Then yes! Hit. Finally! <laughs> Are you swinging at the one that's on fire? fire. Or the other one? No, the fire. The one on fire. With the one on fire, and you feel the ballista crumble under the blow of your axe. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the other one. It might hit. It doesn't! Ah! Uh. Master. They have no idea what's going on in there. Alright, that might hit. Then for the save, it does not. It takes all that damage. Yay! Stop hitting me, me! Alright, Varsi. Yes! Okay. Let's see. Oh, first, see, do it again! Alright, that might hit. Oh! Ooh. A perfect hit. It's like, of course it is! Doof! <laughs> Alright, Fix. Time for your might hits. You've been burnt! <laughs> that might hit. Oop, that's not how you do it. Apparently that's what a D-100 looks like to, to fix there. <laughs> and it does hit. Whoops, that's initiative. That's not the right thing. Uh, that will miss. That might hit. And it does, taking out the uh, taking out the last ballista. Nice. And now Varsi breaks his concentration to see two crumbled ballista. Yes, we look at me. Sorry, did I break a concentration? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, this and this is how you get it done. Thank you, thank you. Good job, good strategy. <sighs> you see, so so you see that the uh, two ballista were not actually controlled by anyone, but were actually animated constructs. I snurf at the dirt. Snurfing at the dirt, you smell ale. I smell ale. It could be a trap. They're guarding something. You but, have uh, a drunk dwarf nearby. But apparently, but. Nobody would put these if uh, what was behind these doors wasn't something really worthwhile. I open the door. You do know I can check for traps. <laughs> I think we took care of the traps. So you push, okay. o push open the door, <laughs> and inside you see a stone pillar in the middle of the room has a ring and six copper spigots jutting out of it, three feet above the floor. Carved into the walls are 20 bas-reliefs depicting drunken dwarves in different poses. 
One hand of each dwarf protrudes from the wall. Three of these hands grasp copper tankards. I knew it! The broke dwarf! <laughs> I need my seat cap! Come on! Yes, thank you, bro. Let's, uh... My name is David A. Harris. Uh? Let's uh, take the uh, one of the uh, one of the cups and uh, fill it with beer with, from the spigot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Fex in the background was trying to study the uh, ballista. He rolled a one. <laughs> Whatever that class you were thinking of, it didn't work out. All right, so Baragon <laughs> takes one of the Baragon Look, takes it's one of the on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you take one of the takers from the hands and move it over to one of the six spigots. You turn it. You hear what sounds like rumbling from deep within the pillar, but nothing seems to come out. Uh -huh. There's still five others. Let's try the other one then. So you turn another one of the spigots. You hear more rattling, and this time you hear something liquidy start to come up through the pillar. Yes! You stick your hand under the spigot, and a patch of green slime starts pouring out over your hand. No! <laughs> you will take... You suddenly, t it melts through the copper taker onto your hand. You take five, five damage. damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to check for traps. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the acidic slime, like, clings to the to the tanker as you throw it to the floor, eating the rest of the copper. God damn it, you through remember the beer, too. I was in the mood for a beer. Oh, well. That doesn't look very appetizing. Looks like a regular ale, probably a uh, pale ale from India. It's an IPA. I get this door now. You look upon the door and you see a sign in brass that says Brewers only, others keep out by order of Garux, master of ale and provisions. Well, I think you're a master brewer, aren't you? Baragon? <laughs> yes, door. Mm. yes. Open the door. Squeak. <gasps> Squeak. I just opened the door, just bl you know, bluntly you know, out of frustration that I didn't have my beer. So, so inside this room, six stone vats arranged in rows of three dominate this twenty-foot high room. On the opposite wall over here, you see that some old barrels have been stacked up against the door. The doors are painted in images of two dwarves in profile facing each other while standing on sideways barrels. I think we should be very careful in here. Yeah, this is uh, very suspicious. I'm going to let you uh, go. healing may be... Uh, you're down to 25, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, drink a uh, couple of potions. Let me see how many I have. I thought I'd point that out, because you often run around with, like, no health. Okay, I have uh, three potions of healing. I'm going to drink two of them. All right. I believe those are 2d4 plus 2... I need to look at those again. I keep forgetting every time. 2d4 plus 2. There's 7. And 5. Oh, that's better. Uh, I guess I'll take a look or try to listen to see if there's anything moving. Alright. Roll your perception. Uh, 
Nope, nothing stands out. What what are you guys doing that you look at anything? Uh oh. I see something. Baragon, as you round the corner there, from the crack in one of the vats, a large oh, blind God, look at the, crack. the large blind eye looks right back at you. I stop. As as long, and I stand very, very still. As well as six other eyes that poke out of the hole before it cracks open the barrel and comes out. You've seen these before. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh boy. Nothing like a, a, a beholder zombie hiding in a barrel. Just drinking the beer. Drink all the beer. <laughs> Alright, Fix, you actually start first. Oh boy. And you have the farthest barrel to the back. Can he get there? No, he can't. He can run about that far. Alright, let's see what this Beholder Zombie can do. Alright, time for random eye attack. Remember, the number you don't want to get is a three. Alright. Alright, so, shoots out a... A bluish ray from one of its eye stalks. The save, and it does not affect the revenant. And the beholder moves over to the rev and attempts a bite and misses. All right, all right, Marster, you're up. Alright, Baragon gets some Sanctuary. And then I moved to there. Alright. Hey, Baragon, you got Sanctuary. Ah, thank you. I was going to actually run around like I was going to like go over here and go over here and then over here. But now that I have Sanctuary, I'm just going to run out in front. Also, don't forget you are still holding on to a banked critical. Oh. That rune card that you have is, since you saved from the negative, you have a baked crit to use at any time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pull out my axe and give this uh, beholder a good whack. Okay. Whack them all. Oh, that, that was it. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> There's some good damage. Do it again. Now there's some more. And can I use my critical hit now, or...? No, nope, you already rolled. Oh, okay. Yeah, 29 damage in one turn's not bad. Alright, we're on the Varsity now. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Uh, too bad you used your Scorching Ray. Yeah, I know. I'll come back when I rest. <laughs> so, take this for now. Yep, now I'll hit. Take that, and I'm hiding behind the corner now. <laughs> okay. Back to the top of the round. Fix, you're up. I'm not taking chances. That shit throws a booty. <laughs> it's like, yeah.
Ooh. Must make a charisma saving throw. Yep. It has no charisma, so it is cursed. Just like last time. You mean crispy? Like last time. Two revenant punches. Uh, he will hit one and then roll a one on the second one. Let's see. Natural attack. If this attack, nope, doesn't have a bite. Has no effect. Alright, here comes the random roll. And that's the one you don't want to see. So I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. Roll of Wisdom. He will not attack Berga. So it's a 50-50 between the Revenant and Fex. This is why I walk behind the wall. Alright, Fex above 50. You don't want to get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one is called uh, Inveneration Ray. Inveneration? All right, so now you'll roll Constitution. You won't take that damage yet. His DC is a 14. All right, you'll take 36 damage. And then he will bite at the Rev and hit him for 16. Now do it for that. All right, Marster, you're up. You just saw a beam just, I oh, know you couldn't see it. Fex is around the corner. <laughs> but coming around the corner, you see Fex has took a lot of damage. Almost like he was being erased. Cast Preserve Life to bring Fex to half his hit points. Oh. Tell him to get the hell away from that thing. Is he insane? <laughs> <laughs> God sakes, do I have to come up with all the plans? No, this is working. It just fixed, just got unlucky. Hey, Bear Gun. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. We just now got unlucky. Since we started, <laughs> he's been getting unlucky. This is true. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so if you want to use your crit, you have to do it before you roll. Just let you know. But 26 damage is a good amount of damage. That's it for me. Alright, Varsi. Yes. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Ooh, looky. Oh, you're still there, huh? Okay. I see Pew. you. Hey, 16 damage. And thank you, and I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fix. That was kind of ouchy. Yeah. See, that's how you do it. <clears throat> He's going for it. I stand at the... <laughs> uh... Alright, which was the fail? Hide that one. There you go. maximum damage so maximum damage on a hand axe is six and you make another attack at advantage come on with the crit yep and the one damage is enough to kill the undead beholder <laughs> with, with the mighty kill steal fixed gets revenge That's what makes the Beholder so scary, is that Inveneration Ray. But I have to hit on a 3. Everything else is not as scary.
So by the way, the two double doors that had the dwarves riding barrel is right there at the end of the hall. Do any of these statues have anything interesting in them or on them? Or? Oh, those are bats. Oh, okay, bats. Anything inside of them? Some smell of ale. Oh, wish I wish I uh, got the other cup or stein or whatever. All right, I listen to the door, or I listen at the door. Uh, you don't hear anything on the other side of the door. All right. Uh, I guess I open the door. You push open the door, and you see a long hallway. At the in this at the very end, at and in this room, the room slopes downward. There are stacks of barrels on each side. These aren't full of beholders. They're not as big as the vat before, but they are the size of you. Nope. So, Marster, right where you're standing, fire gone, go back. I said go back. Back. So, as you take the step forward to right here, the floor under you suddenly opens to reveal a pit. Now, roll a reflex. <laughs> so, that is actually enough to grab on a ledge. So, as the pit opens, you reach out and grab the ledge before f falling what appears to be 20 feet down. Whoa, did you guys see those mighty elephant reflexes? Oh, good. Stay there. Can we walk over you as a bird for now, like in the cartoons? <laughs> Hand me the idol! <laughs> Is he holding, like, the toes on one end and, the, and his fingertips on the other, and we just walk over him? <laughs> I grab him by the trunk. <laughs> Monster, as you're pulled back up out of the pit... The doors that the secret doors that were hiding it close behind you. Well, at least no one will fall in it on accident. Well, we'll have to find another way around or to disarm this trap. So we could roll out the barrels. Oh, yes, we can. Let's do. So, so Fax, as you take one of the barrels and roll it over to where the pit is, the pit does not open. And the barrel rolls all the way to the end of the hall. And thinking back to the Bass relief on the door, you saw two dwarves riding the barrels. Oh. It's a rip off of the hobbit. Ah. Grab a barrel. Well, then I guess we gotta try to ride a barrel. Hope you have good decks. I don't. I have this circlet that turns me into a human. Hmm. You could probably fit in one of the barrels. With my great cat dexterity, I just I whirl the barrel with my feet and just roll it across. All right. So, Baragon, with Marster in the barrel, roll all the way to the end of the hall. Vex, on the other hand, tries to ride the barrel and falls off. Yay! <laughs> Marcy <laughs> does the same thing. <laughs> Thank so you God. guys get back to the first pit before the door opens, because you guys fell off. So now roll another one to grab the ledge. <laughs> if 
Actually, rather easy deck save. Fex does. Actually, Fex, you just jump back. Let's see if RC falls. Oh, right, no, the decks? Yes. Since you're about to fall. All right. Hey, you managed to jump back. And just in case, I give myself a hand. <laughs> <laughs> you hear some yeah. clapping from back there. Clap, 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 clap. It's silent because there's only one hand. <laughs> it's the sound of one hand clapping. You could probably jump this pit since it's only uh, 10 feet wide. Uh, I think jumping as athletics. Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. Clear the first pit. There's the first pit. You can try to search for uh, pits before you took another step there. Uh, you see in front of you that there is another uh, another sign of a pit in front of you. And you jump that one. You don't see one here. No, nope, there happened to be another one right there. But yeah, you would have jumped it. Pretty much the same. And then you come to the end where there are two solid walls. What do you do? Prefer ways to get through. All right, that would be investigation. Or Varsi can use that uh, secret door wand in case there's secret doors here. Oh, don't I have a thing that I can see every secret door for a little while? Oh, that's right. That's part of your rune thing. And <laughs> wait, no, it's not. Is it? Oh, it was like a. Oh, that's right. It was a twenty-four hour temporary. I'm not sure if that's still in effect. Did you guys yeah. rest? Not yet. Yeah, I'm at both. Well, I got two left. All right, so. Uh, supposing you guys didn't rest, there are actually two of them. There's one here and one here. So, Baragon, you see two secret doors one to your north, one to your south. Ah, there are two doors here. I'll open the one to the south since I'm nearest there. Alright, you push open the door there. And you see that in this room, there appears to be pyramids of bar barrels lined up against the wall. And you see that there are three chests in this room. Ha <laughs> uh, ha that's, ha! That's pretty suspicious. That's going to be a mimic, isn't it? Alright, uh, let's see. Can... Uh... 
Anybody have an arrow? Shoot these things? <laughs> you do, but uh, do you trust him to roll not a one? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> to shoot or not to shoot? That is the question. I'm gonna shoot three bullets, one for each chest. Okay. Because I don't trust these things. Well, one, you completely missed the barrel. Or the chest. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shoot again, I guess. Like, really, it's not my uh, You missed it, one. Alright. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Alright, you hit the chest, and it is in fact a mimic! I knew it! One! And another one! Blah, blah. Three mimics! Nah, oh, 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 oh. Three, three mimics! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good job seeing the obvious trap that is obvious. Did they all roll 13s? No. Of course. The 13 is such a lucky number. Lucky for some. Ah, uh, that is everybody. Let's see this mimic. Because mimics are evil. Son of a bitches. Can only move 15 feet. Okay. And there we go. Hey, fix. Mimics everywhere. <sighs> Distance stab. Nope. It's not the Levens, it's you! <laughs> yeah, then maybe they just have the magnet of making your die roll an 11. It's that one! You're just rolling two ones! <laughs> Alright, Farsi, you're up. Where's that third one? Ah, there it is. Okay. All right, you know what? No. This. That. Oh, okay. Good. And. Wait, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. And. Save. Move back five feet, I tell you. All right. Five damage, and he is pushed back. Boogie. <laughs> he's trying to move 15 feet, and he's like, Nope, you only go 10. <laughs> and I'll move back. back up. Nope, here come the mimics. Master, you're up. <laughs> Man, everyone's phones are going off. Sacred flame, the one in the middle. All right. Back in the hallway. The sacred flame is successful. All right, bear gone. Okay. Charge. Yep. <laughs> Up here and hit him with my axe. All right, so you don't have a bonus because you had to switch to your X. That's, That's it. it. That's some damage. All right. All right. Time for Mimics. This Mimic's going to do a bite. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, take six damage. 
All right, fixed. Now it's your turn. I roll eleven. Go ahead and roll that eleven. He likes the one so much. Not again. It was not a one. Anything else you want to do? All right, Marcy. Uh, they can't move very fast, and they don't hit very hard. But there are three of them. All right, fine. You know what? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Okay. Yeah. I need, I need to do something after this turn, or after this fight. Really, people. Nope. You're not allowed. Sleeping is for the weak. I, why didn't show up? Come on, show up. Nope, you don't wanna. <laughs> no, it doesn't want to. No. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. Did it do it? There it goes. All right. Oh my goodness. He threw another fireball. Fuck you. That's right. <laughs> all right. Three deck saves. They all fail. Take 33. 33 damage across the mimic. Bam. Just people now. All right, mimics. Do, 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 do. Hey, Baragon, you like being surrounded, don't you? Oh, gosh, yeah. All right, uh, you're gonna take 14 damage this time. Hey, look, it goes another one. Uh, and this one missed. All right, Buster. Baragon is now surrounded by hungry chests. Well, I'll cast Sanctuary on Baragon. Alrighty. Uh. It's my turn. Hey, Baragon. You now have Sanctuary. All right. I'm going to attack this one first. Go for it. And that will hit. That's some good damage. And I guess I'll do it again. That's another one. Uh. Ooh, so close. Alright, do you want to move it all? Uh, actually, yeah, I think so. Um... Remember, if you move through a threatened square, you'll be attacked, but you can move five feet at a time. Like taking five foot steps. Uh, well, there's also be... disengage, which is basic. Oh no, that costs an action. Never mind. Well, I guess I'll stay here. Okay. Time for Mimic to bite you. Le Chomp. Uh, misses. Alright, Fix. Stab at thee from a distance. Let's see if he rolls an 11, a 1, or a 2. Oh, a 14. A 14 does hit for one damage. Ugh. You're just full of ones today. All right, Varsi. Okay. Oh, you guys are so much problem. Yep. All right. This magical world is full of problems. Take that. Yeah, that's one dead mimic. Okay, wait, not done yet. Right, let me leave these guys on there. <laughs> Alright, and that one's so pushed back. Saying, yep, make it a little bit more work for him to move. I know he's I'm being annoying. <laughs> yeah, because he's just gonna move right on back. <laughs> Wisdom save. K 
can still attack Paragon. So it does. Darn it. And misses. Barster, there are two remaining. Alright, I guess uh, I'll hit the one to the south with a sacred flame. Go for it. It does not dodge it. And that's another dead mimic. Hey, Marster, one left. That's my turn. All right, Marster, it's all up to you now. Sorry, not Marster. Baragon, I get you guys confused. I don't know why. Hmm. All right. Uh, I guess I'll move over to the last mimic. You're standing right in front of him. Oh, okay. Uh, now you're on top of it. Oh! Right it may not look like he moved, but he's actually right in front of him. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just hit a bit. There you go. That will hit him. Oh, damn. He's going to finish it off. That will still hit him. And that's a dead mimic. Yes. Yes, indeed. And I kick the corpses for good measure. When you kick one of the corpses, the <laughs> bite you right away. <laughs> the corpse of what appears to be a humanoid rolls out of one of them. Appears to be wearing some special leather wrist guard. Hmm. I'll take a look at the wrist guard then. Picking it up, it does appear to have some kind of magical property to it. Alright. Oh, well, I got you, you, have, you have no idea. Anybody have uh, any idea what this is? Mm, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same roll. I'm expecting Fex to roll a one here. Alright, I cannot. <laughs> you rolled a six. X pretty close. Nope, no one has any idea what this is. <laughs> I think the high. That bear gun is one way to find out. Um, you can put it on. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, I yeah guess. you can just straight up find out what it is by putting it on. I, I guess so. I, I guess I'll put it on. So you put, the curse. so you put the bracer on. From the bracer appears two daggers in your hand. As it's magically, magically just popping out into your hand. Ooh, neat. That sounds like something uh, Fix would enjoy. So if you so when holding these daggers in your hands, they then vanish from your hand. After a couple of seconds. Hey, Fix, this looks like it's up your alley. <laughs> Varsity, Varsity still don't know what it is. So, to save time on Arcana checks, this is called a Bracer of Flying Daggers, a rare, wondrous item. This arm pair appears to have thin daggers strapped to it. As an action, you pull out two daggers from the bracers and immediately hurl them, making a ranged attack for each one. They vanish if you don't hurl it right away, and the daggers disappear right after they hit or miss. The bracer never runs out of daggers. Oh, wow. Uh, well, if, if, X, if nobody else wants it, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Fex attacks. He throws things. All right, here you go. <laughs> so Fex... This essentially gives you two attacks uh, for one action. Two 1d4 dagger tosses. It does take up a bracer slot, though. So if you find another bracer, it had to be replaced. Yep. 
No, it's called Bracers of Flying Daggers. There's the description. And I'll go ahead and open up this other secret door for you. In this one, the chamber, uh, the room is about 10 feet, top, 10 feet high with more barrels stacked up against the wall. You can smell strong ale come from the barrels. It smells pretty good. Hmm. Do we have anything that we can uh, keep for sale? When you try to lift up one of the barrels, you realize it weighs about 400 pounds. There also appears to be a glyph drawn on each barrel. Despite the age of the barrel, the ale inside does not appear to be spoiled in any way. Uh, hmm. You wouldn't have any magic that makes things lighter, would it? I have a light spell. <laughs> what about the less filling spell? No. Who's got water skins? Hmm. See. You can dump out water and just fill it with ale. That's my water. Works for me. You see one of them, the the uh, ales marked as under mountain ale, and the other one is Mel. Melekarin. Hard to say. Mel L. There you go. That's the word I'm trying to say. Melekarin. There you go. Malarkin. Malarkin. Malarkey. Yeah, Malarkey L. Hmm. Give me a little taste test. Tastes pretty damn good. Do you guys want a teleport down the hall? Sure. Yep, yep. Yeah, wasn't there like another doorway that we missed? Nope, not in this hallway. Oh, oh at, the end, at the ballista hallway. The hallway yeah. 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 Hold on, let me group you guys up. Time for a GM teleport. The only way to travel. <laughs> so there's a way to the north you haven't explored, and there's a door here. Yeah, let's take a look at this door. Squee? Squeak. Squeak. The hallway that goes on and on and on. I need to rest. Oh, I'm low on health again. I'm going to take a uh, my last potion of healing. So as you walk down the hallway, Barracon, it feels like this hallway just keeps going and going and going. Almost yeah, like you're walking in place. Again. Yep, it goes a long way. Almost Varsi, as far as the Varsi, watching Baragon walk down the hallway, you, know, you see his steps slow, almost like it's he is making this this walk down the hallway harder on himself. <laughs> uh, what's the potion of healing dice again? Two d four plus two. Thank you. Oh, no, no, try that again. You said rolled one. One. Yeah, try that again. Oh, okay. Shoot. Is it possible to get a one? <laughs> this is not fell. We can do there this. There we go. <laughs> Little bit of heal. Little heal. Just a bit. Just a speech. Little bit. Itty bitty.
So just by the optical illusion in this room, it feels like even though you're walking forward, you're not getting anywhere. Oh, Although Varsi's standing in the back, it he does see you walking forward, but to you guys, it feels like you're walking in place. Oh yeah, you got a long way to walk. I can see all the way to the end. You're going as far as the crossbows. Still go, still going, still going. So, Marster, even there though you go. it felt like you weren't getting anywhere, suddenly you just feel like you've gone a hundred miles an hour, and suddenly at the end of the hallway, just whoosh. See, aren't you glad you're not in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> not sure I would have been able to stop. <laughs> oh God, the wall! <laughs> I hurt my legs! I can't feel my legs! <laughs> Special dungeons for wheelchair accessible only. <laughs> I would have stairs the whole dungeon. <laughs> That's a trap! That's the trap! There's no one that's trapped! There's no stairs that they go up. <laughs> they only go up. You don't need traps, you just need stairs. <laughs> the ultimate trap. No. Ooh, before oh, you bear, did, before did you bear a gun, they did that a robot chicken with, with Johnny Five. <laughs> before you bear a gun, you see stairs going down. See a door. You found the stairs to the third floor. As well as the door. Let's see what's behind this door. A squeak. Look, I'm going fast like a wheelchair. <sighs> Upon looking in this room, Baragon, you see that the wall is lit up by uh, what appears to be glowing crystals set into the wall. Along the walls, on the lower side, you see dwarves pushing minecarts towards the west, but the they have been defaced. And it looks like stony tentacles are protruding from where their faces used to be. Hmm. It's the demon you're an Arkansas! Yes! He comes! He comes! So as you walk past the uh, defaced dwarf images, you see the tentacles of that are coming out of what used to be their faces writhe as you walk past. That's both spooky and uh, unnerving. <laughs> From looking at the tentacles on the face, and if don't... this was a Japanese anime, it'd be sexual too. So hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, try punching one of the one of the face tentacles. Yep, you punch the wall. <laughs> It appeared some kind of illusion to give them the effect of it movement. But you guys are really pushing it here with this low health and no spells. We should probably rest, huh? Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna have to rest. I have one level 2 spell left. All right, we'll uh, rest here, I guess. In the tentacle room. Uh, back in the hallway. <laughs> just in case, uh, just in case these tentacles, you know, try to do something uh, sexual in nature. Yeah, sexual in nature. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a probably a good idea. Put us back by the uh, uh, the free beer. All right. So as you guys rest, you feel an inspiration overwhelm you as finding the third floor of this dungeon it gets you to level eight. Did it? Oh, sorry. Level seven. You're not level eight. <laughs> level seven. I was like, wait, yes. <laughs> oh. 
La di do cha. And I think for the rest of this stream, we'll go ahead and just level. Time for some Ooh. lounge music. Let's see. You guys don't get another feat or ability score improvement till 8th. In this one, you guys do get some stuff. <sighs> now is the time to think of if you want to multi-class or stay in your same. Yeah, I'm just going to stay in my same class. I'm staying in my lane. Cool. I already did multi-class. So I'm not doing it again. <laughs> But I think I will get some. Alright, so... Uh, at 7th level for the Blood Hunter, since you took uh, Order of the Mutant, you totally forgot about your mutagens that you have. Anyway, Baragon, at 7th level, you are immune to poison. All right. And in addition, you can install a burst of adrenaline to temporarily resist the negative effects of a mutagen. As a bonus action, you can cho choose to ignore the side effects of a mutagen affecting you for one minute. So I don't have to, like, uh, hurt myself to use one? No, this is mutagen, different from your blood magic. Oh, I see. Remember the mutagens you took? The Ember's oh, mutagen, mutagen, the mobile one. The rapidity, rapidity one, one. the potent one. Right. Totally forgot you had those. Oh, yes! yes! I get him, finally! See, look at that cool stuff you could have been using this whole time. Okay, I'll... I'll know for next time. Anyway, so, you are no longer... You can no longer be affected by poison. And no side effects. And you can spend a bonus action once per long rest to ignore the side effects of a mutagen. Sounds good to me. I get my hound! A familiar? Uh, I get the hound of ill omen now. Alright, so that ability, Baragon, is called Strange Metabolism. You also get something else. Oh? You get what's called a Primal Right. So let's see, you get to choose one of these following rights. The Rite of Flame. All your right damage is fire damage. Right of the Frozen. Cold. Then Storm. Then de the Rite of the Dead. Then Rite of uh, the Oracle and Rite of the Roar. What's the, uh, what's the Rite of the Dead? So this changes your uh, right to necrotic damage. You know how you put an electricity on your weapon? Mm hmm Same thing. Oh, okay. Just well, choose, you now choose a second one. Yeah, where you first have Right of the Storm, you can now pick something else. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the necrotic damage sounds pretty nasty. Let's go with that. Now, be, be warned about necrotic damage. Is that it heals the undead. Oh. Okay, All right. So you can't choose. Sorry, you can't choose esoteric rights. Uh, only of flame, frozen, and storm. And you already, already have. Um, flame sounds good. All right. Let's add primal right flame.
so now you have the ability to add uh, electricity or flame. Nice. And then you roll your health. Actually roll health? Yep. Let's see if I can find it. So... Oh, maximum! You now have 74 hit points. Nice! Maximum hit points! Congratulations! Thank you! I really need those! <laughs> and it looks like that's it for you! I don't see anything else you get for 7th. At level 8, you get an ability score improvement or you can take a feat. But that's not, that's not double. Cool. All right, let's go over everyone else. Varsity, since I'm pretty sure you're done leveling. Figuring out my one spell. <laughs> Let's see. Clerics don't get much, except now they can cast fourth level spells. And they get one of those. Find what you wanted? Yep. Yay! Yep. So what'd you pick? Spell? Yeah. Yeah, I took Tidal Wave. <laughs> Time to hit the whole party. <laughs> Alright guys, that will do it for tonight. <coughs> Good night Good stream. Bye. Bye. And, and this is